One thing the Kardashians know well is style. From their wardrobes to their real estate, the Kardashian clan love luxurious homes. So it's no surprise Khloe Kardashian spent millions on her property to build her dream home from scratch. Despite some drama in the beginning, the Keeping Up star is ready to move in, and we're here to share all the deets on her new Hidden Hills mega mansion. It's awesome. Number 1. How much Khloe's mega mansion cost? Chloe is yet to share the full details of her home with the public, from amenities to cost. The actual cost for building the entire mansion hasn't been confirmed, but what we do know is that Chloe spent 17 million dollars for her property, built in the same compound as her momager Chris Jenner, who also forked over eight figures, 20 million dollars to be exact, making their total 37 million dollars. And we had to get a big house. Yeah, that's a lot of money. money. The mother-daughter duo is basically living out their very own modern-day Grey Gardens fantasy. The one and a half acres both properties sit on used to be part of 3 acres that belonged to Ron Tudor, father of million-dollar listing star Tracy Tudor, and once rented by Britney Spears. Number 2. 8 rooms fit for a queen. We also know the farmhouse style. The property has at least 8 rooms, and with a family the size of the Kardashian clan who love spending time together and occasionally moving in for long periods of time, it makes sense. Like when Kim moved in with Chris when she and Kanye were married and waiting for the Beige Palace to be completed, and then spent years living with mom, or when Rob lived with Chloe and Lamar and became the third branch of their little family tree. It's not just 8 bedrooms that makes Chloe's new home mega. It's the 9 and a half bathrooms a home truly fit for the queen chloe is number 3 chloe's new pantry is more organized than a store we know coco is the queen of organization everything is just categorized and those cookie jars are forever ingrained in our memories So there's no surprise that one of the first rooms she was ready to show off on her sister Courtney's Poosh website was her pantry. And what an impeccably organized and color-coordinated pantry it is. Everything has its own spot in different jars and organizing cubbies that cost approximately $2,000. Yes, Chloe spent 2,000 smackaroos on her pantry organizers. The best part, they're all labeled too. She'll never have to rummage around to find that one bag of flour or cereal like the rest of us. Number 4. True's aesthetically pleasing bedroom. Of course, the princess of the house gets her very own room all decked out and pink as can be. In her most recent birthday post for True, Chloe shared a glimpse of her bedroom, filled with baby pink, blue and purple balloons covering her bed, perfect for Princess Thompson. The shelves in her room match the princess theme too, with a ginormous crystal sitting at the top, with a princess tea set and other tchotchkes like a bedazzled swan paperweight. Number 5. Chloe has to have a state of the art home gym. Chloe spends a lot of time on her fitness and has spent years building the perfect at-home routine, so there's no way she wouldn't build a gym for her every need in her dream home. And that she did. Filled with thousands of dollars of equipment from ellipticals, treadmills, stairmaster, and weight racks, this busy mom doesn't need to go far to get a good workout in. Number 6. Whose house is bigger? If we're solely looking at square footage, Mom Chris Jenner's property takes the lead, being slightly larger than Chloe's, with hers being 16,500 square feet and Chloe's 10,000 square feet. But does that really matter when they both have grand backyards with luxurious pools that have their own cabanas and spas? We don't think so. Plus, Chloe's 8 bedrooms, the organized pantry, basketball court, and 8-car garage make the home feel like her very own private resort. And sharing the 1 and 1/2 acres of property makes it all feel like the perfect luxurious getaway nestled in the exclusive community in the San Fernando Valley a perfect location for the mother and daughter to live the soft life they deserve number 7 a giant kitchen perfect for entertaining one thing we know about Khloe Kardashian is she loves to cook bake and organize her cookie jars so it's not a surprise to us that she built the kitchen of her dreams our dreams everybody's dreams with a marble island big enough to fit her favorite dishes and her cookie jars and still have enough room left over for her daughter and cousins to dance around the kitchen having a blast 
This kitchen has come a long way from the construction site Chloe shared on Instagram. To be honest, it looks like absolute goals and seems to fit the Kardashians' love for beige rooms. It's already starting to look like Chloe's house will be the fun house, the fun auntie with all the yummy snacks and all the jars of pickles you'll need. <laughs> Number 8. Taking a dip in style. When you've got 10,000 square feet to work with on a shared one and a half acres of property, you best believe the backyard space is going to be decked out. And Chloe did not disappoint. Just ask True, who was happily splashing away in the rectangle pool, decorated with stone statues at the tail end. The statue in the middle being the focal point of the pool. But that's not all. The backyard is, of course, perfectly manicured lawns. In a promo clip for the Kardashians on Hulu, Chloe showed off her under construction backyard with her covered patio, which will definitely come in handy under the California sun. Number 9. Coco's Come a Long Way at the tender age of 16, Chloe decided it was time to venture out on her own. She said at the time she was rebellious and wanted out of her parents' house, saying she was a little bit of a brat. The first place she lived in was with what she described as an old man who needed an assistant. From there, she made her way back to her father's home, the late Robert Kardashian, at 18. We can't forget the home she shared with her ex-husband Lamar Odom in Tarzana that sold for $5.5 million to Big Bang Theory alum Kaylee Coco. The 8400 square foot home became home to Chloe's brother Rob for some time as well. Now Chloe's almost made it full circle back to basically living with her mom but still has her sense of independence. After all, she's not the same 16 year old. She's a mother now. Number 10. From J. Biebs to Coco, the Calabasas house has history. Chloe bought the home from Justin Bieber in 2014, who purchased it in 2012. Chloe bought the 11,000 square foot home for $7.2 million after Bieber sold it quietly because he had to make an escape following complaints from his neighbors, who became Chloe's neighbors. The home has six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, plus a guest house, which Chloe decorated all to her taste. Just from the pictures of the Calabasas house, the backyard looks like her favorite part of the house. Decked out with an outdoor fireplace, swinging couch set, a pool, and and Playhouse for True, Chloe put her touch on the place. Well, when you follow Bachelor Justin Bieber, adding her feminine touch with the landscaping and beauty and glam room is a necessity. Number 11. Chloe's eye for design is worth 15 million. Chloe's eye for design in the Calabasas house was what helped sell it for almost double the price she bought it six years before. She initially put it on the market for $18.95 million, but knocked off $3.5 million and sold it to YouTuber and videographer Darmon. Chloe knew her worth and the work she put into that mansion was worth the price tag, even if she had to knock a little off. The home is now considered the home with the highest price per square foot in the Calabasas neighborhood, all because Chloe knows how to make a good renovation, her most renovation of the home in 2019 following a split from Tristan Thompson. Out with the old and in with the new. She's now in with the newest new. Number 12. Chloe's Cleveland home can't compete. We can't forget the home she shared with Tristan during her short stint in Cleveland when she was supporting her man and the father of her daughter. Tristan purchased the home for $1.9 million in 2015 when he joined the Cleveland Cavaliers, and it was the first home Chloe brought True to, so it held a lot of memories for the parents. It also held amazing amenities like a wine cellar, billiards room, a poker room, a gym, and a theater, to name a few. The home also had six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, with a beautiful view of Lake Erie. Even even though Cleveland never became Chloe's forever home, she was still fond of the memories when it sold for two and a half million in 2021. 13. Will Tristan Thompson have a room? Short answer, not permanently. Tristan and Chloe's relationship has been put through the public ringer for years. It just sucks. It has to be so public. And it seems like this last mishap may be the last thing Chloe tolerates. But never say never. The two continue to co-parent their daughter True, but we're sure we'll see how their relationship develops over the course of the first season of the new show. According to The Sun, Chloe delayed her move-in because she was changing floor plans because of the split with Tristan. But despite the drama, her dream is ready. Number 14. Neighbors with the Fam 
With a big family, you're bound to be neighbors at some point, but maybe not as close as Chloe and Chris. They've only been living next door to each other for a short while, but Chloe's already deemed her mother an annoying neighbor. In the family's recent appearance on Jimmy Kimmel, Chloe complained about her mother's dogs using the bathroom on her property. Yikes. My mom will only have her dog use the restroom on my property. <laughs> it didn't end there. She also complained about her mother being a nosy neighbor, and Chris agreed she was the nosy neighbor. We are living for their little neighbor feud. Number 15. Construction drama almost got in the way. It's all good now that Chloe has moved into her dream home, but it didn't come without its share of drama. In the farewell season of Keeping Up, Chloe shared the struggles her and Chris were having with their contractors, who almost ran off with their money and the deeds to their land. Big yikes. But clearly, everything got sorted out because construction resumed later on in the year, despite COVID, and they were able to move into their shared property. Seems a little struggle makes it all worth it in the end. We're sure as the new Keeping Up season rolls out, we'll get to see more of the finished mansion. But for now, this is all we get from Chloe. What are some of your favorite features and amenities in her new mansion? Let us know in the comments. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more on your favorite celebs.